ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு கோடிங் இன்டர்வியூஸ் சேனல் ஹோப் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் கிரேட் இஃப் ஹேவ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு த சேனல் இயட் ப்ளீஸ் கோ ஹெட் அண்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் ஐ ஹவ் கிரியேட்டட் பஞ்ச் ஆஃப் பிளே லிஸ்ட் டு கவர் வேரியஸ் கேட்டகரிஸ் ஆஃப் தி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் டைனமிக் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் பிஎஃப்எஸ் டிஎஃப்எஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ தேர் ஆர் செவரல் பிளே லிஸ்ட் டு கவர் பேசிக் டேட்டா ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் சச் ஆஸ் ட்ரீஸ் லிங்க் லிஸ்ட் கிராஃப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸோ ஆன் ப்ளீஸ் செக் தம் அவுட் I have uploaded the code for this particular problem to the GitHub repository. You can get the link from the description section of this video. Let's jump into today's problem. Shuffle the array. Given the array nums, considering of 2n elements in the form x1, x2, so on, until xn, y1, y2, so on, until yn. So, written the array in the form x1, y1, x2, y2, so on, xn, yn. So, basically, uh, this is... this is a something called interleaving method so basically we are given with 2n elements right so when it is 2n right so then the length of the array will be always even right so you you will be able to um, cut that array into two equal halves right so when 2n elements the array will be of even length right so now we are asked to interleave those elements in first set of n elements with second set of n elements right so right so let's go ahead and look at the simple example this problem will be very very simple and it will be a most likely a brute force method right so here we are given with six elements where n is equal to 3 right so when it is 6 that means n is equal to 3 obviously right so we are already said there is 2n elements so 2n is equal to 6 that means obviously n is equal to 3 right so now the elements are the first half is x1 to xn right and the second half is y1 to yn so that's why i have like divided with a space here so 2 5 1 will be x part and 3 4 7 will be y part so now what we are supposed to written is 2 3 right 2 3 and next 5 4 right and 1 7 right so this is what the output is so basically this is the example that i got from the example 1 so the output that we are supposed to return is 2 3 5 4 1 so that's what we got it right so this is just basic interleaving that's what we call right so for this particular purpose what we are going to do is like basically it's a simple step approach there is no um, big logic involved here in this particular uh, problem we'll just go with the brute force method right so for this purpose what we are going to do is we'll just declare an array which is equal to the length of the two n elements right so that's why i'm i'm go- going to declare and then uh, what i'm going to do is uh, declare two two uh, indices so one index will be pointing to the zero that is where uh, x1 is pointing to so this is where x1 starts right and there will be another index called j where y1 starts right right so that's what i am going to declare so i int i is equal to 0 and j is equal to n right so normally in in several languages the indexing starts with 0 that's why we will go from 0 to n minus 1 so that's the reason why the next that means y1 where it starts it's at index n so it will go on till 2 n minus 1 right so 0 to n minus 1 will be x uh, set and n to 2 n minus 1 will be y set right so that's why i'm calling x1 is starting at 0 and y1 is starting at n right so now now that we know okay this is going to be the uh, start points for x and y right so now what we are going to do is interleave right so two take an element from x set and take an element from y set and keep them together right so take an x element from x set and take an element from y set keep them together so that's what we are going to do right so this is the answer array we declared so we are going to fill up this answer array while going through this so i have declared another variable called index which is equal to 0 to start with so the index is initialized to 0 so first thing is we have to get the x1 and then y1 right so what we are going to do is answer of index plus plus is equal to nums of i so get the i that means get the x first and then get the y right so that's why you just repeat those things by putting the elements from the nums array that is the input array into the answer array right and keep on incrementing the index as well as the i and j right the i and j indexes right so initially when i is equal to 0 that is x1 i is equal to 1 means x2 i is equal to 3 mean 2 means x3 likewise right you will be incrementing through i++ and j++ also incrementing with y1 y2 and so on and finally the answer will be populated with the interleaved fashion right 
so we will return the answer right so that's how we are uh, able to solve this problem very easily right it's just an interleaving problem that's a, that's what you call so let's go ahead and look at, look at the time and space complexity for this right time and space so how much time we are essentially doing here so these are anyway declarations so it will be taken a uh, constant amount of time and this while loop we are going from uh, 0 to n right so uh, or i we are doing with i starting from 0 right till n right so correct so we are going n times basically so that means even though array has two n elements we are able to solve this problem in uh, order of n time right so the time complexity taken for this particular problem will be order of n so and the space complexity so are we using any extra space here yes we are declaring the answer array which is equal to the length of the 2n right so that means we need the space for the this as 2n uh, are we using any extra space we are using these variables but these will be a uh, constant amount of time uh, when you compare with n right so that's the reason why we are not going to add any more um, space for these three variables so the space complexity is order of 2n so we are going to remove the constants such as 1 2 3 4 and all uh, when we generalize the big o notation so we will say order of n is the time complexity for this particular problem so the space complexity is order of n and also the time complexity is also order of n so this will be a brute force based approach right so uh, it solves the purpose basically in the order of n time and order of n space right so if you have any further questions please post them in the comment section below this video i'll get back to you as soon as i can i have posted this code to the github repository you can get the link from the description section of this video below if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends as much as you can please click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about my future videos thank you for watching i will be back with another problem very soon till then stay safe goodbye